dear students i am dr shikha pande associate professor from institute of aeronautical engineering today in this lecture series of this solid waste management subject we are coming at the point of processing of solid waste so for in the processing section i'll discuss about the recycling glass recycling so uh, this is the whole picturization that is related with the solid waste management integrated solid waste management so after the generation primary collection is there and then it's handling after handling and storage next step will come that is secondary collection so in secondary collection one more step is there that is processing and transformation so we are at this stage so in this at this stage we are studying this topic glass recycling glass recycling as uh, in a last last lecture i have discussed about the recycling of metals and uh, paper recycling and cardboard recycling so today we will discuss about the recycling of glass so first of all we'll dis start this lecture with a just a basic uh, definition of this recycling what does it mean by recycling so as per this solid waste management rule 2016 solid waste management rule 2016 has been made, uh, made uh, uh, under environment protection act 1986 so under this ep act this uh, swm management rule is there 1986 so in this swm rule is there and this rule has been amended in in the year 2016 so as per this rule the definition of recycling is like that it is the process of transforming segregated solid waste into a new product either an or a raw material for producing new products this means that recycling means is it is like a conversion of any solid waste segregated solid waste into a new product or it's a conversion or make it at like a like a raw material for a new product this is the meaning actual meaning of this recycling process this recycling process is like conversion of segregated solid waste to any uh, new product either new product or either a product or a raw material raw material that is going to produ produce a new product so you can see this in the picture one paper plastic bottles uh, either plastic or iron tin can is there cardboard is there this tissue paper is there tin can is there jerry cans is there paper is there so conversion of everything conversion of any waste to an useful product conversion of waste to any useful product is called as is called as recycling so let's start today's discussion about the recycling of glass so there here is the some of the uh, fact about recycling of glass what is the uh, good thing what is the different uh, good uh, fact about this uh, recycling of uh, glass so first of all um, very important uh, good point related with the glass recycling is is like that glass is 100% recyclable and it can be recycled endlessly without loss in quality or purity so uh, glass can be recycled again and again without losing its property without losing its purity so and it is 100% recyclable it's it can be recycled endlessly up to some point and it will not lose any its property it is not going to lose any quality or purity glass is made from readily available domestic materials like sand soda ash limestone and colored the industry term for furnace ready recycled glass so uh, next we will discuss about this term that is collet collet is like a industry is uh, making this furnace ready recycled glass and this, this glass is made up made from readily available domestic materials like sand soda ash limestone and collet the only material used in greater volume than the collet is sand these material are mixed or batched heated to a temperature of 2600 to 2800 degree fahrenheit and molded into a desirable shape this thing this has been work for the glass it is it can be used in a uh, that sand can be used in the collet and it is on so the only material uh, this this is used in a greater volume than the collet is sand sand is used a uh, first raw material is the collet that is industry ready term that is furnace recycled glass collet is a uh, furnace recycled glass but uh, uh, another term material which is used in greater volume to make glass is like sand these material are mixed or batched heated to a very high temperature of like 2600 to 2800 degree celsius so it will be heated on a very high temperature 
and uh, then it will be molded into a desirable shape and that will form a glass and recycled glass can be substituted up to 95% of raw material so this uh, first point is it is 100% recyclable also and second it it will be substitute up to 95% of raw material so recycled glass can be substituted to uh, for up to 95% of raw material so uh, how this glass has been formed first is the collet is there so collet is the furthest ready recycled glass next point is that collet the material used in a greater volume than the collet is sand sand is there and these materials are mixed or bashed and heated up to a very high temperature this is like 2600 to 2800 degrees celsius and then after heating it on a very high temperature it can be molded into a desirable shape and that can be form a glass so this is some facts that is related to the glass that's the first point is that glass is 100% recyclable and with its recycling its color and shape and purity will not change and glass can be made available in domestic material like uh, sand soda ash limestone and clay and the industry term for furnace ready recycled glass is there and the uh, next point is also that the only material used in greater volume than the clay is sand these materials are mixed or bashed heated to a temperature of 2600 to 2800 degree fahrenheit and the molded into a desirable shape also and recycled glass can be substituted up to 95% of raw material so these are some important point that is related with the glass so next is the what is this glass glass is a very important inorganic material which is the one of the largest production of industries industry is a it is a very largest production of industry it can be made into a variety of different products for man's daily life obviously for our daily life we are um, too much uh, exposing with the glass our houses are made window glass means mostly glass is there and it is a, what is this it is an amorphous solid which can have different composition of semiconductor it is an amorphous solid which can have a, different composition of semiconductors but most importantly are made up of molten silica along with the limestone and soda so this is a basically uh, is a amorphous solid this glass is basically amorphous solid but it will made up of by it with a different composition of semiconductor it is made up of by a different composition of semiconductor but but it is mostly is the molten silica molten silica molten silica and uh, along with limestone and soda ash limestone and soda ash soda ash so this glass is a basically an amorphous solid that has been different composition of semiconductor but but most importantly it is made up of by uh, molten silica and uh, along with some limestone and soda ash it uh, so this is about the basic characteristics of this glass and it is the very largest production of industry and it can be used in a variety of product for a man's daily life now next we will come at the this glass recycling how this recycling has been done in the industry so first of all it is a processing of waste into of glass into a usable product processing into a usable product and it should be crushed before remelting in uh, is called collet collet so glass should be crushed before remelting and this is called as collet this is called as collet so there are two type of collet is there first is the internal next is the external internal will reflect means composed of defective product detected and rejected by the quality control process they are there are some uh, some defective products are there and uh, in the uh, internal collet and it can be detected and rejected by the quality control process next is the external collet external collet means waste glass collected or reprocessed with the purpose of recycling waste glass collected or reprocessed with the purpose of recycling approximately only 45% of glass waste gets recycled in india everywhere so uh, when we talk about the data of india approximately only 45% of glass waste is recycled next uh, other is not recycled so and every year so 
and uh, this is like uh, for everything uh, this uh, glass is collected and how it will be collected from uh, hauling and then it will go to the cycling station by a truck and uh, then they are uh, they are doing this uh, steps of making this glass recycling like, like like the processing of waste into usable products and then it, it will be crushed glass grass will be crushed before remelting and it is called as collect there are two type of collect first is the internal collect and external collect external is like waste glass collected or reprocessed with the purpose of recycling this will be like external collect will be, means the uh, glass is collected and reprocessed with the purpose of recycling only so now comes to the next point this is like a so uh, comes to the next uh, slide this is about uh, glass recycling and uh, this is again the same point is there end of waste collect is called as external collect means waste collect end of this uh, end of this waste collect is called as external collect external collect external collect and glass waste needs to be purified and cleaned of contaminants before recycling so uh, it should be cleaned before the this purified and clean of the before the recycling process so depending on the end use and local processing capabilities it needs to be separated into different color also because glass is having different color like green color brown color or some transparent color so first of all it should be uh, separated into different color and the most common color used for consumer containers are basically uh, clear that is flint glasses and green glass and brown glass so on the basis of color it should be divided and it should be purified and cleaned of contaminants before the recycling process and depends on the its end use and local processing capabilities it needs to be separated into different color next point is that this is the source of glass recycling this is the global glass recycling status as of 2018 so if we will talk about the recycling rate in percentage then this is only 35% and uh, this is uh, like a volume recycled in metric ton is 27% percentage of glass produced that is recycled is 21% percentage of glass produced that is recycled is 21% only recycling rate of container glass is like 32% and the recycling rate of flat glass that is uh, all is in, is only 11% so the recycling rate in percentage is just 35% means total uh, total glass waste that is generated has been recycled in a very less amount so because and this recycling of glass is very much beneficial because it it can it can recycle up to 100% only without up to endlessly and without changing its purity or any composition and in this way this glass recycling we are very much lacking in this recycling process of glass as a, like a recycling will be very much beneficial for this glass because glass will be like uh, it can be endlessly endlessly recycled up to some time and it is uh, it won't lose its purity or its uh, uh, its uh, any properties also now uh, let's start the this is the glass recycling status in us as per the us epa so in in the usa the glass recycling rate is like first is the recycle this blue color will represent recycling and this sky blue will represent combustion with energy recovery and this gray is landfill means mostly glass waste has been landfilled in the, you can see that this much of, of amount of glass is now landfill and with combustion with energy recovery it, this much is with combustion and energy recovery and recycled is this much only that's why this is a so, uh, data from the us and you can see that they are also lacking in the rec recycling of glass and this data is up to 2017 only some they have uh, what they are doing with the glass first is the recycled then composting is there then composted combustion with energy recovery and then uh, landfill so for compo compo composted this glass is not applicable composted facility is not available ap applicable for the glass that's why this should be landfill and mostly glass is landfill now up up to this time only and the combustion with energy recovery is uh, very less and then recycling is also uh, as compared to this one combustion with energy rec recovery this is a little bit more now comes to the uh, steps in glass recycling process 
let's discuss about the different steps which type of which what steps should be followed for the recycling of this glass glass process first is the segregation process segregation contaminants are sorted firstly first contaminants are sorted and common contaminants include like some what is the contaminants are there the contaminants are like some ceramic is there some pyrex aluminium cans light bulb cardboard window frames and mirror are there so maybe uh, yeah, if a glass is from a uh, window frame then frame is there if it is a mirror then mirror is there mirror frame is there some cardboard are there some light bulbs are there so first thing is is that it, you have to segregate and you have to uh, short it first this contamination that is in, in this glass next is the breaking of glass glass breaking step is the second step Gla after the segregation next step is the breaking it into the uh, little little uh, pieces so gl glasses are broken into crude particle for future optical shorting a light water mist is applied when necessary to control airborne particles see this is the light borne um, particle is there a very light borne uh, slightly water mist is applied slightly this water mist is applied when necessary to control airborne particulates it is a very necessary to control the airborne particulates because after the crushing after the breaking too much uh, fumes are means mist are there in the air that's why water spray is there so that the water spray will settle down all the airborne particles that is in the whole uh, chamber so this because uh, due to breaking of glass too much little uh, little bit very small small uh, mist is there so in dust fumes is there so to stop the fumes slightly water mist is applied to, when that will going to control the airborne particulates so first step is the segregation of glass then contaminants are sorted firstly and uh, then next is the breaking of glass breaking of glass it glasses into the crude particle for future optical shorting then it will be shorting on the basis of optical and uh, with this um, breaking of glass some slight water mist is applied when necessary it is very much necessary to control the airborne particulates next is the trommel step is there you can see it is in the picture so in trommel what will happen broken glass particles are passed through a revolving screen shorted with 3/8 inch and 3/4 uh, size glass particles are passed through a revolving screen and shorted into the high and the fans propel the uh paper label detached during breaking through the trommel and into a paper recycling bin so this uh, fan propeller is there the paper labels detached during breaking through the trommel and into a paper recycling bin item that doesn't shatter and cannot fit through the screen that like the some crocks are there caps and reed irritant labels are there are collected and recycled so this is a picture of trommel you can see that in the trommel some fans are there and these fans are going to detached during breaking through the trommel and to the paper recycling bins and next the some items are there that cannot be shattered and cannot be fit through the screen like a cork is there caps is there some uh, so that that will be collected in these two bins and with the sieve they are that glass particles will settle down here only you can see in the picture this glass particle is settled down here only with this sieve and this sieve is having 3 4 inch size and the fan propels are there and the paper labels which is there the see this is the paper labels and it will be collected in these two bins that is green and orange color this is the step of trommel next step will be like fluidized bed dryer fluidized bed dryer is there see you can see this picture so what happen in this fluidized bed dryer first is the smooth ribbon of glass particle enters the dryer and uh, vibratory action moves the partic particles through the dryer so a uh, very smooth ribbon of glass particle are, are there and that is going to enters the dryer vibratory action moves the particles through the dryer air is heated up to 190 degree fahrenheit using natural gas and flows through the bed of the dryer is it is heated up to 190 degree fahrenheit 190 fahrenheit and uh, mostly natural gas is there natural gas is there and uh, this will be on a very high temperature and sugars and bacteria are burned and level glue is loosened and residue floats on the top and sucked away via our vacuum system 
so this you can see that this bed is there this bed is the two dice bed dryer and it is it, it is heated air is there and that air air heated at the 190 degrees celsius fahrenheit using some natural gas and pours through the bed of the dryer so this on this bed it will be forced to dry and sugars and bacteria are there that are going to burn and level glue in the loose end they will be burned and loosened in the as a glue and the residue float on the top is sucked away by our vacuum system. So if some residue will be there, that residue is shucked up by this system, by this vacuum um, vacuum pump. And these are sugar and bacteria are burned and this will be act, this glass is act like a very small glue and it will be loosened. And so this is this step is the fluidized, fluidized bed dryer. This is a picture of this fluidized bed dryer. Next is the next is the step is the primary rotatory scheme, screen. So in a primary rotatory screen, it will be dried and clean glass is screened to cull out specific size. So in this primary rotatory screen, the dried and clean glass is screened. The dried and all clean glass is screened to, uh, to put out and to form a specific size. With that specific size, it can be formed. And then pulverizer is there you can see this is the step eight this is the pulverizer so in pulverizer what happened the glass particles that are too big to fit through the primary screen are sent through the pulverizers and uh, it uses multiple hammer inside a small enclosure to aggressively reduce particle size it uses multiple hammers inside a small uh, enclosure some hammers are there inside this small uh, um, closer in closer that hammer will put pressure it will, it will put so that it will be your desirable shape will come and the all particles re recirculates until they finally pass through the primary screen primary screen first of all a primary screen is there then the, it will be going to pass through a pulverizer in pulverizer the glass particles that are too big to fit through the primary screen are sent through the pulverizers and it uses multiple hammers inside a small enclosure to aggressively reduce particle size all particles recirculate until they finally pass through the primary screen primary screen and some hammers are there that is going to be uh, a small increaser aggressively reduces the particle size and all particle size all particles recirculate until they finally pass through the primary screen next is the some secondary rotatory screen uh, size classifiers are there. So they are going to classify some screen sizes. So particles that are small enough to pass through the primary screen are then processed through the secondary screen. So the, those particles that are small enough to pass through the primary screen are then processed through the secondary screen. And the particles are separated into four grades. First is the 12 mesh to 20 mesh sizes there. 20 to 40 mesh, 40 to 70 and 70 mesh and it's very smaller and each size grade is used for different uh, and end markets means for the, all the size, all the size has been used, all the size has been used as per the requirement by the market people like uh, if they need a 12 mesh means that is will be something big and then smaller and smaller and smaller. So based on their choices, they will, they can buy the, this glass and the, uh, utilize and make a market end product so this secondary rotatory screen will classify the particle that are small enough to pass through the primary screen means through the primary skin that can be not passed are then processed through the secondary screen this secondary screen is called a secondary rotatory screen size classification you can see in the picture this is the picture of this secondary rotatory screen size classific classifier and with this screen size, some particles can be divided into the four category. First 12 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 70, 72 and 70 and more smaller. Each size grade is used for different end markets. So these are all the steps that has been related with the, that has been related with the recycling of glass. So uh, these are the some steps as we have discussed that has been related with the recycling of glass. So first of all, the glass recycling is very much important because the glass recycling will recycle glass like it can recycle. Recycling of glass is like it can recycle up to 100% of glass, up to 100% of glass, up to 100% means what? 
total glass can can be recycled and it can be it can be recycled up to endlessly up to a uh, many times and without losing any of its property any of its uh, property so that's why we discussed this recycling of glass under the section of this dry waste transformation so in the dry waste as we have already discussed two type of waste are there wet waste and dry waste wet waste are those waste that is organic in nature so for wet waste composting vermi composting landfill methods are there for the dry waste like paper waste cardboard aluminium waste glass waste this uh, uh, glass waste so for all these waste recycling should be adopted so glass recycling is a very much important because this glass recycling is very much useful because you can gl recycle glass and you can make a new product also or you can make a raw material for a new product uh, product that's why this recycling of glass is important and recycling of glass is mostly adopted in in our country but the recycling percentage of glass is very less that's why this glass glass recycling is nowadays not achieved that much of amount and recycling is very important as because glass cannot be enters into the landfill other than recycling what to do with this glass it can be landfill but if it can be landfill it will be dangerous up to some time it cannot be degrade it cannot be mixed so up to a many year it is already present inside inside the soil that's why only method that should be adopted for the uh, glass uh, decomposition is it's a de um, it's a final disposal it is it's recycling recycling means to convert it and to make a new product or make a raw material for the product so the different steps followed for this glass recycling is first of all is the it's a purity first of all it's a purity and breaking of glass and then on a very high temperature it should be heated and molten it should be heated and molded to uh, to make or to to get its a desirable uh, shape whatever shape you want and after that's uh, too much uh, pressure on this and with a very high temperature it should be heated so that the it will be it will be molded and and it will be form as per your uh, shape and sizes and and after this after the crushing of the glass it went through through uh, some sieve so that the, that sieve will pass smaller particle and that sieve will pass sieve will uh, segregate the bigger particle and the smaller particle the bigger particle will be another and will be goes for, for the another purpose the smaller particle will go for another purpose and uh, during the crushing of the stone too much fumes will come out in a room so that the uh, water spray should be used water mist should be used to settle down all these fumes inside the chamber of this uh, glass uh, uh, recycling and this glass recycling is very important and it will be very much beneficial for the economy of the country because it should be adopted and if it will be recycled more and more amount of glass then it should be not landfill and without uh, if if it will be not landfill then it will be it will be good because a person that is exposing to this landfill they may get hurt or they may get injuries because of handling of glass also now uh, this is the reference of the some of the textbook that i have followed for this study and if you want to study more you can go through this textbook and you will get a more idea about this recycling glass recycling plastic recycling and uh, now i am at this stage i i want to conclude my lecture today i have to discussed uh, i have discussed about the recycling recycling of glass and the whatever the different steps that is followed for the recycling of glass because glass recycling is very much important and it 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 is it is much needed also as because it can be 100% recyclable and it cannot lose its property it cannot lose its uh, any of this uh, composition that's why it's it is very much beneficial for the economy and the for our society also so uh, if you have any query or if you have any question regarding this lecture you can write in the comment box or you can mail me in the my given mail id this is shikha.pndy at the rate gmail.com and uh, thank you for today's lecture like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates